Hello there, I am Giant Girl from more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the restaurant 117. We also uh, visited Wally in Verdant Turf Town, where we're staying at currently. We also uh, smashed a smashable rock with a rock smash, and that made um, this Blackwell dude and Wanda be able to see each other because the boulder that we smashed, the rock we smashed, it was blocking uh, the, them uh, from each other, so that's good. We also got uh, black glasses, which raises up the power dark type moves, and then we didn't really get to help a nerd out, or a guy with the glasses out, I lost his glasses, because he said maybe his glasses are somewhere else. And then, other than that, I think that's all we did. So let's talk to Gabby and Ty. Uh, I have, um, t I have, uh, Metroid in my first slot, and then in my second slot I have, a uh, Fighter, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, we've uh, just spotted a tough looking trainer here of all places. Okay, well, okay, let's get this interview. Now, these, these couple, or uh, this duo, I should say, uh, interviewers Gabby and Ty, or interviewer Gabby and Ty, uh, they will come and battle you um, several times in the game. I think three times is the main story, but then you can also, well, as many times as you want, really, as long as you keep on battling at the right location, because they, 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 they are planted at um, three different locations throughout home, and this is the first of them. The three locations but the Pokemon will also get stronger and they'll even evolve you know that's pretty cool so and they're good for experience and they also ask for an interview after the battle so I always do the interviews because I want to be nice and just give them an interview so let's use acid on both of them but it won't affect the magnet because magnet magnet in this game is half steel type and then we're gonna go with a fake out on the Wismer okay so let's see how much this does it puts in the red wow okay it doesn't affect magnemite Faux Magnum, I should say. But it does affect the Wismer. So the Wismer side goes down. And then, uh, yeah, the Magnum shouldn't be too hard to faint, honestly. It's gonna use the Magnum, it's gonna use Sonic Boom, it's a daily guarantee 20 HP. Let's go for Constrict on the Magnum and Arm Thrust on the Magnum. Yeah. It's not very effective. Oh man, that's too bad. <laughs> Speed fell, okay, that's awesome. But the Arm Thrust should take it out. Yeah, looks like it's gonna take it out. Yeah, nice. So it's an easy battle if you have the type advantage. If you have like a fire or fighting type Pokemon, if you especially have a fighting type Pokemon and a fighting type move on that Pokemon, it's gonna be really fight because because you know Wismer and Magnemite are weak against uh, fighting type moves. So that's good for us at least. Uh, we defeated in it. We defeated an interviewer Gabby and Ty. It shouldn't be interviewers or maybe Gabby's just the interviewer and then Gab ties away the cameraman. Okay, Gabby says, my eyes don't lie, I did discover an astonishing trainer. We got 1,824 Booker dollars for winning. Awesome, thanks guys. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I know we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please let me explain. We travel all around, we travel around everywhere, interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of your time for interviews? Yes, sure, you will, thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go to um, I'm go to all the way down to adjectives, and say this battle was pretty tight, even though it wasn't really close in that type. But it was like tight because this is like a tight bond that we battled with, that we have with you guys, and uh, the, here's to having at least two more battles shown in this project. <laughs> yeah, okay, tight. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that there's a chance that they'll air this on TV. So make sure you look for it for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. And we do actually see it on TV. I'll, I'll probably show it off for the first time we see it on TV, just to show it off. Uh, I wanted to check if Layer 1 or 2 had any, picked up any items, but I guess not. Okay, so uh, Metroid's still up front, so let's talk to this picnicker and battle her. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? Sure, why not? I always like to battle. Battling with other trainers is so much fun. Here's picnicker Irene. She has a shroomish, okay, level 18 female. It's a good thing we have acid. We have the type of advantage right here, so that's good. Nice. Let's get his tackle on Metroid. That's fine. Let's use another acid then. You know, I'm really hoping Metroid learns uh, Bell Boom at level 24 or 25. Somewhere close, because I, I still feel that Metroid still learns Bell Boom in the 20s somewhere. But I could be wrong. I still haven't looked it up on Cerubi or Bulbapedia, which I should, but I don't. I'm. I've been a. Uh, I've been really just mass recording this project, really recording in bulk. Like I've been, 
Like honestly, I, okay. So I'm recording this. Episode, I'm recording this part on uh, February twenty, February seventeenth of two thousand eighteen, and it's a Saturday. It's the weekend of. It's President's Day weekend. So Friday, so Friday yesterday, the sixteenth is when I started recording this project. Yeah, I know I've been recording a lot of them, but I've been imagine recording wise. But um, so I recorded about ten episodes or ten parts. Uh, ten parts uh, yesterday, and I've recorded uh, two or three today. And it's uh, currently when I'm recording this is 2:58 p.m. I've been taking breaks because I think the longest I've been recording is like maybe four part, four episodes in a row or four parts in a row. But uh, I I just wanted to breeze through the series, you know. If I if it, if I don't have school on Monday, which is Presence Day, which is the 19th of February, 2018, and depending on when this gets uploaded, I think it's probably gonna be uploaded sometime in like maybe early, late February, early March of 2018. That puts that just puts a perspective on where I'm at with this project, you know, because I know how to re I know I can really breeze through this game really fast, but I want to like make it a fun walk the guy too, you know, make it entertaining. So hopefully I'm doing that. If I'm not, I feel I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know. I always with my YouTube videos, I always try to entertain my viewers, but. You know, sometimes it's not, stuff isn't entertaining and I totally get that and it's your opinion and I respect that if you have, if you think this is boring. I'm not the most energetic or enthusiastic guy when it comes to commentating, but I still mean what I say and like, I still have fun with it. I still hope you guys are having fun with it. But, uh, yeah, that's just how it is. I skipped to your dog, but thanks for the 280 poker dollars. You're very nice. Okay. I also should also point out that I didn't point out this earlier on the Pokemon app for trainers I is this like the versus seeker and um you know in other Pokemon games but if they have a little I think they have to have a little poke wall that's square next to their name they want to battle again now I think I'm pretty sure in Ruby and Sapphire you can't rebattle the gym leaders but in, in Pokemon Emerald you can but uh in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire I'm pretty sure you can't battle the gym leaders again which kind of stinks but that's okay so no one wants to rebattle um there's apparently um 24 numbers registered and there's 74 battles, I guess. And it tells you like who exactly they are, like a Lady Rose, Tuberwola. And it tells you where they're at like, on the first little rectangle. Like for example, Fitch Boy Watts Winston is um on Route 104, which I think is the route south of the Puddleburg uh for to Puddleburg Woods and north of the Puddleburg Woods, because that's the route that's a big route, but it's just split in half in the middle with a uh with the Puddleburg Woods. So I wanted to point that off. I, I forget what condition it is really. Uh, I think it's for contests. It, like shows like the yeah. This is like if you want to evolve your Feebas into Milotic, its beauty stat needs to be really high. So like if I go through the line, I, I don't think I've entered any, through any contests. So like it doesn't really have any beauty or anything or any like going towards one little category. But yeah, I don't really want to do the contest really. But I did show you guys how to get the Pokeball case. I might show one contest just to try it out. Uh, there's a contest in Falarbor Town, which actually I'll show on the map right here. Falarbor Town is right up here, and it's they host a contest there. I know they host, they hosted a contest in Slateport, and they also hosted a contest in um, not Overwatch Town, but uh, Verdant Turf Town, and they had a contest hall there too. So I want to enter one of my Pokemon in contest just to show it off, you know, just to say that I showed off a contest, because yeah. According to the anime, like Ash usually always goes for the gyms, but like his female companion, whether it be Dawn uh, or May or um, I think Dawn or May, really, they they'd go for the contests. So yeah, let's uh, we so much right up front. Let's talk to this campy guy. I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is Peppy too. Peppy from Star Fox? No, I'm just kidding. Peppy hair from Star Fox, guys? No, I'm just kidding. He means like happy and joyful, I guess. He has a Sanctuary level 19. Okay. So I'm gonna probably switch out to uh let's switch out to Geico. Yeah, nice Geico. Get a scratch on Geico, okay fine. Let's use bolt seed on this thing, it'll be super effective. But it's a pure ground type, so it won't be four times super effective, but that's okay. I'll take out the sentry anyway. Defense curl, okay, we're gonna go for the quick deck to help you finish off the sentry. That'd be nice. There we go, nice. 
You had a free camp for Travis. Nice. My Pokemon lost this pep. I'm sorry, man. Next for 304 Poké Dollars, though. So I actually want to switch around my Pokemon. I want to switch, um, Friday with, uh, uh, Geico. Yeah. So here is the desert, right? Route 11 and... This is Route 11, but Route 12 is still left. <laughs> okay, cool. Or west of where we are now. The sandstorm is vicious. It's impossible to keep going. We'll have to figure out that later. But there's an item we'll get, um... From, from May, actually, and uh, we can actually go through that desert later, but for right now, the sandstorm is just too vicious. So, let's take on this camper. Um, I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. Okay, I won't cry if I lose then. <laughs> Be a man. There's no crying in Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding. There's crying in Pokemon. Pokemon, the first movie! <coughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so let's go for the acid. And this is Gillen's male, level 18, nice. Order Sooth, nice. Good for you. Yeah, identifying Metroid. Met oh, Metroid isn't like Samus Aaron, who's a girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's hopefully. I'm gonna try to finish this uh, Zigzagoon off with a. Or uh, Metroid will try to finish this Zigzagoon off with a poison sting. Let's see if it does. Let's see if we faint it. We do, we do awesome. Nice. Awesome, yay. But he's Nuzleaf. Okay, we'll stay in. Nuzleaf is a Nuzleaf is grass and dark type. Half grass, half dark type. So let's use acid. It's gonna be super effective. This Nuzleaf is level 18. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Let's hopefully finish off with another poison sting. Or with a poison sting. I'm, I said another because we used another well, this is our second poison sting we used to faint to finish off with Pokemon. Yeah. Growth didn't help because it's it's fainted, you know? The Nuzzle fainted, it's done, the battle's over, I'm sorry. Camper Larry, nice. Wow, you have the same name as my Wynoon. Heh, <laughs> Camper Larry. Always the first, same first name. Yeah, thanks for the 288 Poké Dollars. I think I want to stick with, um, Metroid being up front. When you get, when you get out on a picnic, when you go out on a picnic, why don't you, why simply have to, why you simply have to sing? Come sing with me. I think I'm, yeah, I misread that first part of her dialogue, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. <laughs> well, your best isn't good enough, son. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's go for the acid. This tail is level 18, female. Use quick attack on Metroid, which is okay, I guess. Do, you got, you do you, Tao, you do you. Okay, it does 10 HP every time. This kind of stinks because now Metroid only has 20, 20 HP left. Let's go for the Poison Sting. Yeah, it's going to have like 10 HP left. And I did, a, I did 11 HP that time. Wow. But yeah, good thing that was a critical hit. I'm glad it wasn't a critical hit. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay in. I'm just going to use a healing item. I'm going to use a, a Super Potion. So let's go to our bag. Our 26 Super Potions. Wow. Oh, well, I picked up an item. I'll have to take that from after this battle. Wonder what it'll be. Astonish, okay. Let's go for the acid, cause, cause Wombray is half water, half grass type. But it's so weak against um, poison type moves, and wow, critical hit, nice. Awesome sauce. We defeated Picnic or Kale. Oh, you're so strong, thank you. Thanks for the 288 Poké Dollars, too. Really appreciate that. Well, I guess, yeah, thank you for paying for losing is what I always say apparently to all these trainers, which is kind of mean, but uh, I'm going to keep on saying because I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad man. I'm 21 years old. I'm a bad man. <laughs> Not really. It was just a, it was a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. PP up. Awesome. Nice. So I forgot. Was that full heal that way got, gave us or something? I think it was a full heal. But I know that, I know two gave us a PP up, which is awesome. I'll put that in my PC. Save it for later. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to Geico, because I know this uh, high car has at least two Geodudes, if not just one. So let's talk to him. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not getting a buckle easily. They're not getting... They're not going to buckle easily, friend. Okay, we'll see about that. Let's battle. Let's battle, man. Hiker Trent, I use four Pokemon. One's a Geodude. Cool. So let's go for the Bolt Seed. She is level 16 in male, nice, and it goes down real easily. I like it. Okay, Geo did again. So yeah, at least has two Geo that's pretty cool. I think he also might have a Machop. But I don't know what his voice Pokemon would be, if I were to guess, so. It's whatever, we'll have to see. 
This Geodude is level 16 in male as well. We take it down easily, just like the first one. There's a third Geodude, cool. He may have I'm guessing he has three Geodudes and a Machop then. That's my guess. Yeah. The Bullet Seed is just overpowering these Geodudes. So the Geodude is also level 16 in male. Good for us. Good for us for being successful right now. Okay, so there's four Geodudes. I think they're all level 16 and all male then. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's the fact. That's true, because this Geodude is also level 16 in male. Nice. Hopefully, Geico levels up to level 25 by this battle. Be nice. And it and Geico does. Awesome. Vacuum trend. Okay, cool. Ouch, my legs cramped up. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for this like, such a forward pocket dogs, though. Okay, so. Let's switch, uh, Metroid and. Yeah, okay, yeah. Metroid and Geico. Okay, ha. Uh, how do we. About, how about a, we have a battle, you and me? Ha. Uh, you're a very funny guy, apparently. You like to laugh a lot. Okay, I forgot to read the name hiker name for the last hiker. Sorry. Thanks. This is Hiker Bryce, though. He has a Numble, okay? Uh, I'm gonna switch out to... I'm gonna switch out to Fighter, I guess. I just really hope that Metroid learns Bubble Boom soon. Because Numbles are four times weak to water type moves. But the thing is, I don't have a water type move. I don't want my, I don't need my Pokemon head right now. So that kinda stinks. Ooh, critical with the fake out, nice. But these Machop, okay. Let's switch to back to Metroid then. Do a little switcheroo trick. Let's go for the acid, I guess. Just to curiosity see how much it'll do. Let's see here, it does about one third. Well, kick does about that much. Okay, same amount of damage really than compared to acid, but that's okay. Oh, I'm not trying to raise this chance again. Critical hit. We gotta knock out this Machop fast because it could it could uh, prevent uh, giving experience to uh, Metroid if Metroid did win against this Machop. Karate Trap is not very effective. Okay, cool. Nice. So this should faint it. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Nice. So yeah. You defeat Hiker Bryce, awesome. Ha, I lost it, ha ha ha. You're still laughing after you lose, but that's okay, that's good to laugh off. You're, you're, um, you're, when you're down, I guess, you wanna laugh and be happy again, I guess. Thanks for 720 Poké Dollars. Yeah, let's talk to these mag Team Magma Grunts that seem to be blocking the way to a cable car. Grumble. Uh, what happened to the others who left to the library? They're late. Interesting. Grumble. I'd like to ride the cable car to the top too. <laughs> they have to stand there. Haha, <laughs> that stinks. So to progress the game, you have to go through here, which is the fiery path. Yes, there's a Pokemon I want to catch here, actually, too. I want to check if we're one or two added item, I guess. So, yeah. So let's see if this is it. Okay, so that wasn't it. It was a Slugma. I don't want a Slugma. I want a different Pokemon in here. Okay, so Metric Grid level 25. I just defeated a Coffin. So, yeah. Oh, Bubba Boom, yes. Yes, I would love to. I would love. I would love. Uh. Metroid Dolan Bubba Beam. Let's give it a Supersonic. One, two, and. Poof. Metroid forgot Supersonic. And. Metroid learned Bubba Beam. Nice. So, Fighter kind of took a beating there, as you saw right there. It was poisoned, and I was losing almost one third of his health. So, let's use a. Um, let's use a Super Potion, I guess. On Fighter and an Antidote. Yeah, antidote, there we go. I was, I was like, huh, I know I have antidotes in here in my, in my bag somewhere. So, the, yeah, that that coughing wasn't the Pokemon I wanted either. So I'm going to give also a, a super potion. Dang it, I'm going to go back to my Pokemon. I want to go my back to my bag, I mean. Let's uh, use a super potion on Metroid. Yeah, cool. So let's see if we can find it. Here it is, it's a Torkoal, nice. Yes, this is the Pokemon I wanted. So let's use, um... Let's use Acid on it, see if we can weaken it down. Okay, it's gonna use Curse, okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna lower its speed, but raise its attack and defense, I think. Yeah, attack rate, rose, defense rose, okay, but lower its speed. Okay. Okay, yeah, this will be my fire type for the, um, project, for the 
playthrough I guess you could say. Yeah, good thing uh, since Metroid is half poison type, it can't get poison, so that's awesome. It's immune to poison. So that's good to know. Slowly we can hit it down. Okay. Okay, let's use another acid. Oh, it's, all it's using is really curious. Jeez. Okay. I'm afraid if I use Bubble Me now, it'll faint it and knock it out, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly wither it down. Now, if Metroid had the ability Queer Body, the accuracy wouldn't have been lowered there, because Queer Body actually prevents stat loss. Which is actually the Honestly, the ability I wanted my tentacle to have, but that's okay. It's down in the red zone, though. That's awesome. Okay, let's go for a poke. Let's throw a pokeball at it. We have 13 of them. Wow, we have nine ultra balls. We have more ultra balls than great balls, actually. I think we had six great balls. We had nine ultra balls. We had 13 pokeballs. Now we have 12 pokeballs because we just used one. Awesome. Torkoal was caught. Nice. Our first female Pokemon in our permanent Pokemon party. You should say. Toko's data was added to Pokedex. Toko's number is 105 in the Pokedex. And then in the whole index, I should say. Uh, Toko, the cold Pokemon, it's, it, it's high as only 1 foot 8 inches tall. I thought it was taller than that. 1 foot 8 inches. That's a, sm that's a short turtle. What the heck? I thought it was way taller than that. Its footprint kind of looks like a little campfire, you know? It kind of looks like a little campfire. It weighs 177.2 pounds. So I, I currently I weigh like 172 pounds, and it's, it weighs more than me. But I'm like f five times, almost f four times, pretty much four times the height. I'm five foot six and a half. So, and I'm weigh 70, 172 pounds. So this thing is heavier than me, but I'm way taller than this thing. Mind blown. Wow. Okay, whatever. Okay. Torkoal digs through mountains in search of coal. If it finds some, it fills hollow spaces in its shell with the coal and burns it. And if it is attacked, uh, this Pokemon spouts thick black smoke uh, to beat a retreat. To beat, to beat a retreat. Cool. I like how that rhymed. But the smoke it clearly in its sprite isn't black. It's kind of white. And its ability is white smoke. So... That must be an error in the Pokedex. <laughs> Pokedex, you're wrong on that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just getting. I'm just getting criticism. That's all. So I do have a nickname for this uh, Torkoal. I'm gonna nickname it Smokey. I thought it was a cool nickname. Smoke. Smoke. And then it's just smoke with a Y, basic Smokey. Let me make sure I spell that right. S M O K E Y. S M O K E Y. Sure, sure. I cool, I did. Uh, Smokey was sent to the PC. Aw oh, man, we have to get Smokey from the PC. I'll do that off screen actually, off camera. Off screen, yeah. Uh, let's see, did anyone, did any of my Zigzagoons pick up an item? No, but of course not. Okay, cool. That's fine. But, with that, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough part. The next part will take on the rest of this route. This is actually what route we are on now, actually, just a curiosity. We are on Route 112. So we're close to, uh, Full Arbor Town, I guess, but we have like another route after this too. Unless it's one big route, I can't remember. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to leave you to give him goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time with Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.